Hey, it's Pete Thorne. What's up? I'm out of Wildwood in Colorado, just having fun playing my new red Pete Thorne model guitar through my PT-15 IR amplifier. This is a little video all about this guitar and uh, kind of how, how it was born. Um, and just kind of want to talk about it because I think it's a really cool guitar for the working guitarist. That's what I was trying to do is come up with a, a tool that I could take to the gig that uh, filled all my needs that covered all the bases essentially because a lot of gigs that I do like many people out there I'm sure I don't have the option of necessarily taking 10 guitars to the gig when I can I do but most of the time you know I'm flying somewhere or going somewhere locally and I need a versatile guitar that covers a lot of bases and gets a lot of tones so I wanted something that looked classic uh, and yet some brought something new to the table um, I've always kind of liked the idea of something that's slightly flashy but still like understated and not too crazy just me personally i love uh flame top guitars but on s style instruments like this one is it's never been my bag really so um i wanted to go with some some really cool solid colors that was important to me so you guys see we've got this black one sitting here this is exactly actually like the first prototype that I came up with uh, for this guitar. And this was before we'd ever talked about doing a signature model. Um, you know, I just custom spec'd a guitar out that, that you know, was something that, uh, that I thought would, would serve my needs and be just a great working instrument that I could get a lot of tones out of. And this was basically the color combo and everything. So if you look at this guitar, it's built out of uh, our favorite guitars were originally from Kalamazoo. It's kind of all those woods. It's uh, mahogany back mahogany neck, rosewood fingerboard, and it's got a maple top, but yet it's in an S style 25 and a half scale instrument. So it's a true hybrid. I was really trying to combine, uh, you know, our, our favorite guitars uh, from the past from California and our favorite vintage guitars from the past from Kalamazoo and come up with a versatile instrument that could cover a lot of ground and a lot of the tones that you can get out of both those instruments. So as far as the other accoutrements on the instrument, we've got the Thornbucker pickups. This is something that actually we had designed uh, before this guitar ever came out. The Thornbuckers were um, really uh, born out of a, a desire to, to make something that was authentic vintage PAF. Now that's a moving target because those pickups were all over the place. I mean, they were wound by hand and they used different uh, wire sometimes and different magnets and stuff as I understand it. They're not really that consistent. So the goal is to find a set that you maybe really like and then try and duplicate it or replicate it. So a lot of the guitars, like I've got an old 335 for instance, um, that I, I loved the sound of that guitar and it, it had a tone that to me wasn't really that different than single coil guitars. And modern humbuckers that I would try, they all sounded like for the most part quite hot to me or darker. They didn't have a lot of sparkle and clarity to them, especially in the neck position. So we wanted to kind of bring that back, uh, that, that sparkle and openness and clarity. And the neat thing about having a guitar that's got those characteristics in a humbucking pickup is you can switch to a guitar that's got singles in it while maybe you're on the same gig and not feel like you need to go back and reset all your amp controls. You know, so in other words, humbuckers, but yet with clarity and articulation. And the other thing that we really wanted to achieve was a balance between all three positions. So when you go from the bridge position to the middle position to the neck position, you don't feel like once again, you gotta change the controls up on your amplifier to get a balanced sound. So on this guitar, that's the bridge, here's the middle, and here's the neck. Okay, so you can just get a great balance between all those sounds. I'm playing with a really clean sound right now as well. So you can really hear that the volume stays quite consistent between all three of those positions. Okay, and once again, if I play dirty, it's the same thing. The really neat thing is the bridge pickup, while it's got clarity, it's not overly bright and shrill. So you can go up nice and high on the neck on the high E string and it sings as opposed to pierces. Okay, and if I do the same thing on the neck pickup, it's not a world of different tone, you know? It still sounds like the same instrument. In the middle, you've got your, in the middle position, you got your.
know, even with a fair amount of gain happening, you've got that clarity and twang to it that to me sounds almost like what I would imagine as a big on steroids overgrown Telecaster kind of sound. The guitar's got really big jumbo frets in it because I figured out in the 80s, I loved these frets. I moved away from it for a while in the 90s and tried, you know, different kinds of fret wire and smaller fret wire and stuff. And then when I went back and got on a guitar that had the big jumbo size frets that I'd grown up, you know, playing on and loving, I was like, why did I ever move away from this? They're just really easy to play on. I felt feel like my hands like glued on the neck with the big frets. And they're really, really nice for vibrato and bending as well. Uh, and these are stainless steel, so they're always going to be shiny and like brand new. So there's two more pickup positions that I want to talk about and then one other special feature on the guitar. We do have a couple split coil positions. If you go to this position right here, one up from the bottom, it's going to be inside two uh, coils in single coil. And you can get these great, wonderful kind of, I don't know if it's like a Strat in position four or a Tele in the middle, but that kind of thing. <laughs> Neck position is uh, actually single coil. Many guitars that, that would have a five-way switch on them and two humbuckers, this would of course be the, the neck humbucker, but this is actually split coil here. And the reason that I did that on the switch is because I found myself using this sound so much, I just loved it. I think it's a really great, authentic single coil sound yet coming out of a humbucking pickup. <laughs> If we go back to the bridge position for a second, there's one more great little feature here in the tone pot. You pull this up and it switches the bridge pickup from series to parallel, which gives you kind of a quasi single coil sound. It's a little bit different thing than tapping the pickup, but I really like the tone. Is that full series humbucking? And this is humbucking, but parallel. So it just gives you a couple variations there and they're both hum canceling. I've got gain going right now and everything. You'll hear that the noise doesn't increase because I'm not actually tapping the pickup. I'm just going from series to parallel and getting a great sort of quasi single coil sound, but it's still humbucking. <laughs> Okay, so one great feature on this guitar is this bridge. This is an incredible new bridge that Trev Wilkinson designed and just brought out. Uh, I'm really excited about it because it's actually got locking saddles on it. And this is the first bridge like this. Well, okay, there was one more made many, many, many years ago, but we'll forget about that one because it wasn't a very good bridge. So this one is the, full, the first bridge that you can string like a regular bridge through the back, through the block like this, like a standard S style, two post tremolo and then you can lock the string in the saddle and you get killer locking tremolo tuning stability out of it like you know like a Floyd or something like that but yet it sounds like a traditional S type bridge and it's just one extra little step as far as stringing the guitar goes you just string the guitar tune it up with the locking tuners cut the ends up there. there's no tick cutting in the ball ends or anything the ball ends stay and uh, once the guitar is in tune, string stretched out, you just lock this little Allen screw right there down, just using an Allen wrench, cinch that up and it's gonna lock the string in the bridge and check this out. incredible tuning stability out of a traditional two post style bridge. One nice touch, the guitar's got the scrape binding on it, which I just love, so it exposes the uh, the maple plain top, and I just think it's a it's a classy touch. The guitar comes in four colors right now. There's a gold top version, there's this brand new red version, there's the uh, ocean turquoise, and then you got the original black here with the red back, uh, which was, you know, 
I don't know. It's kind of like wearing a tuxedo or something, but then you got a pair of red Converse on or something. It's classy and yet it's a little bit flashy. <laughs> So that's it, it's the Pete Thorne signature model from Sir. Brand new color for 2019 with the garnet red. I'm really stoked, I'm really excited about it. This thing's my main squeeze and uh, thanks again to Wildwood for having me out to talk about the guitars, I appreciate it. See ya.